You know, I'm a big Stephen King fan, and um, I love his books. Sometimes when you read the book, it's a lot more enjoyable. Like, you feel like you're a part of the movie than watching the movies. But I've watched all his movies. And for the most part, look, did he have a couple of movies that I wasn't really crazy about? I didn't like. Yes. But for the most part, most of his movies, like Thinner, is one of my favorite movies of all time. You know, um, then you got, obviously, um, the new It's. You know, he did great. The old It's and the new It's, the, the, you know, like uh, Pennywise, the clown. I mean, it was awesome. Okay. So I always had a very large level of respect for Stephen King. But, you know, I doubt he would see this video. <laughs> but if you're listening, Stephen... The eight father, Richie Lavoie, is very disappointed in you. How could you approve, okay, the new Firestarter? Because I know they had to come to you. I know they had to ask you your input and they had to get your your uh, permission and your approval to make this movie. Stephen King, this movie was the worst movie. You can look at my reviews. I made, I made um, like, I, I think three videos on it, <laughs> okay? Like, video number one was the original review, and then I talked uh, solely about the ending. I made two, two, part one and part two of the ending of Firestarter. This movie was so bad that you need to find the people. You need to find the people who directed it, produced it, and I don't know, you need to torture them in some way. Like, they need some form of punishment. This is how bad this movie was. And then it gets me back to Stephen King. Did he actually, did Stephen King, I wonder, like, I have to look this up. Did he write the screenplay? Or if he didn't write it, he had to approve it. He had to at least approve it, right? Okay. So, like, what? What the F? Stephen King, why would you approve? This is, listen to me. And I'm not even saying this. I'm not even saying this to exaggerate or whatever, to be a you know a jerk off. This is by far the worst remake of a movie ever made in the history of cinema and the movies, the movie industry. This is the worst remake. Like this, this remake was so bad. Listen to me, it was so bad that you could take like somebody, honestly, who's, I don't know, like a, a janitor who works somewhere at a hotel, okay, and have him write the screenplay, he, he, do, he would do a better job. And let's just assume this guy has no knowledge of movies or no writing ability. You know, the guy's just looking at Mr. Clean, you know, and he's pouring it on the, on the floor with the mop. That He doesn't know nothing else except that. This guy would write a better screenplay. This is, it's just so wretched. It's so horrible. This, I, I honestly, I'm trying to protect people from watching this movie because I don't want them to get physically sick. That's how bad it was. But the thing that concerns me is why would Stephen King approve this? Was it just a money thing? He's got a lot of money. I mean, when you got hundreds of millions of dollars, what's another few million? Is it going to make or break your life? I don't think so. Right? Like if you had $200 million and I came to you and I said, listen, I'm going to give you here. I'm going to give you $2 million, right? I'm going to give you $5 million. It, you already, you're already rich. You're already super rich. What's another $2 million going to do that you have to approve and destroy one of your best works? An iconic movie, a legendary movie like Fire, Firestarter. And another thing, why did it they star Drew Barrymore in this? Like, why why couldn't she play like the mother or something? Like, like, you ever notice when they do remakes, you always take the star of the original movie and put her in? Well, Drew Barrymore, you know why she's probably not in the movie? Because she probably read the damn screenplay and refused. It's the, That's probably what it is. I guarantee you, I guarantee you it's going to come out that Drew Barrymore turned down the part. Like, they, they probably did want her. She read it. She's like, nah, no, thanks. Stephen King, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't know what money that you made. Just donate it to charity or something, man. This was by far the worst remake of a movie ever made. And you should really make a public apology to Stephen King. You should say, I'm sorry that I approved this and I allowed this to happen. I hope he, I hope he hears this message.